You already know I can't go a single video without making some type of verbal articulation mistake or stuttering, whatever the heck you want to call it. So I'm going to challenge myself and challenge you today. If I can go this entire video without making a single mistake, then you got called lack and you got to subscribe to the channel. It is what it is. But if I do make a mistake, no matter how small it is, then you can skip today's subscriber challenge. Let's hop straight into this video. So the worldwide celebration live stream thing over on the Bandai Namco channel mentioned a few very important details for the future of Dokkan, future units, etc., etc., and they mentioned something super important about the eighth year anniversary in that we're going to receive characters this year that have never headlined the anniversary before and there's two different ways that you can really interpret this the first one is literally literal so no z gogeta for the anniversary right no int janemba for the anniversary no form of any kind for super saiyan 4 goku or super saiyan 4 vegeta absolutely no version of gogeta super or again z blue gogeta base gogeta no base vegeto or blue vegeto no mey goku no evolution blue vegeta no god goku or god vegeta etc etc so that technically leaves the window open for something like a base goku and maybe demon king piccolo or a super saiyan 3 goku if you will that you mean you can interpret it like that personally though not gonna lie i think when they mention that they're not going to headline or they i guess that's a mistake there whatever um if uh if they're not going to release a character or if they're going to release a character this year that have not that has not dude look all of the mistakes are coming out now that haven't headlined the anniversary before then i don't think we're going to get a single goku whatsoever or a single vegeta whatsoever which to me is a little crazy we know that dokkan is getting very brave yo gt pan is a dokkan festival ginyu is a dokkan festival videl is a dokkan festival raditz the god himself as a dokkan festival dokkan is showing us that they don't really need to drop these massive massive bangers all the time in terms of hypeness so they're really taking this hype thing or this um what's the word um this confidence to a complete new level and the eighth anniversary in my opinion will not have a single goku or a single vegeta which means what in the world are they going to drop i'm going to go ahead and show you some things that i personally think could easily drop for the anniversary but i want you to let me know what you are looking forward to the most and it's kind of hard because goku and vegeta is li they're literally written all over every single arc every single like major fight has goku or vegeta in it so it's like since these celebrations are themed around you know specific fights or hype moments whatever goku and vegeta are Goku and Vegeta, sorry, are always in there. So, uh, I mean, I guess there's a few exceptions, but let's just hop into it. So, the first idea uh, that I really have here is some form of Sword of Hope Trunks and then the corrupted version of Merge Zamasu. So, we do have the newest LR, not the newest, newest LR, but Merge Zamasu um, here, and he just dropped on JP not too long ago. And so, I mean, I know that he exists and he recently just came out, but we still need a corrupted, we still need respect for a corrupted version of himself, and Sword of Hope Trunks still deserves to be a top tier unit in this game. He has not gotten as much love as he deserves. So I can see these two definitely headlining either part one or part two. And speaking of part two, do they mean like the part two LRs as well? Because if they're counting the part two LRs towards that comment that they made, then technically characters like Broly, Chi Lai, and Lem, or maybe even Broly, right? Because remember, Broly was an LR. Uh, I mean, again, it was Broly, Chi Lai, and Lemo, not just Broly himself. But technically, Dragon Ball Super Broly may not be um representing the anniversary because he technically got a card for one of the big releases for the fifth was it the fifth year? Yeah, fifth no, sorry, sixth year anniversary, right? Actually, was it the sixth? Bro, uh, wait. Broly, Chi Lai, Lemo. Yeah, okay. So that my bad. It was the fifth year anniversary. I'm tripping. Anyways, so characters like Goku Black, I don't think we're going to see 
any form of Goku Black for the anniversary. I don't think they mean just part one. I think any of these new top tier or newest LRs in any part of the anniversary will not be receiving any love for the eighth anniversary. So again, I don't see, I don't expect to see any form of Dragon Ball Super Broly. I don't expect to see Rose in any way, shape, or form. I don't expect to see, again, any form of Kaioken Goku, Kaioken Vegeta, maybe not even like a baby Vegeta, because technically he came up for the fourth anniversary as well. So again, there's a lot of um a lot of speculation not necessarily speculation just a lot of characters hype characters that we're not going to see for the anniversary but anyways back on to my ideas here so again sort of hope trunks and merge Masu, i could definitely see being some type of um you know being the focus of at least portion of the anniversary i also think that dragon ball z broly um, I personally believe that outside of Goku and Vegeta, Broly is the most popular pure Saiyan character there is. So I think w without a doubt that Dragon Ball Z Broly could carry, especially a transforming one. Dude, with this animation, oh, they could easily carry some form or some part of the anniversary. Again, the issue comes with the fact that, you know, there is no Goku or Vegeta that can necessarily drop with them again. I mean, we could also see some form of, like, villain theme, you know, anniversary, but I don't necessarily think that's a possibility as well. So it's, I don't know, really. Again, I brought up LR, I brought up Kid Buu as a potential LR because, again, I we, we all know that he needs it. However, I mean, we could technically see LR Kid Buu and, like, LR Ultimate Gohan, right? I think that's definitely a possibility. But, I mean, would that be hype enough? Probably that would be, right? And speaking of Gohan, I mean... Dude, Gohan has never necessarily headlined an anniversary before. So, like, I think people would definitely summon for a Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. And speaking of Super Saiyan 2 Gohan, of course, I mean, I'm, I'm going to, like, assume he dropped with, like, a cell unit or whatever the case is. But that is where we get the EZA for this chat right here, as well as the EZA for the Int LR Cell. So this could be the time that these guys EZA. I would 100% be down for that. But we can also get something like, I mean, I wouldn't say but, but to add on top of that, LR by Guys Goku. This is a character that until he drops in some way, shape, or form, I'm still always going to have hope for some form of or not always have hope, but I'm always going to expect more Cell Saga in the future. This is one moment that they need to encapsulate into some type of card or support memory. Or so. this is this scene is too good to not be in Dokkan the way it should be. So until this drops, always expect more Cell Saga in the near future. So again, I could definitely see a new Super Saiyan 2 Gohan, a new Cell. And the easy A's for these worldwide celebration units right here. And again, speaking on Gohan, we could be seeing some form of Dragon Ball Super superhero stuff. So we could see again Gohan, maybe Piccolo or his new transformation, maybe Gamma 1, Gamma 2 in Part 2. But, you know, again, it's a little tough because without Goku... I guess, I mean, there are, Goku and Vegeta aren't necessarily in the movie, so it wouldn't be hard to pull things from this. But would they really make dragon ball super superhero the anniversary sorry the anniversary i low-key doubt it especially when you take into consideration what they mentioned in the live stream uh that they basically mentioned that they want to get superhero stuff before 2022 ends and the anniversary for jp takes place in 2023 towards the end of january so while superhero could definitely be hype i don't necessarily expect i mean maybe Maybe they drop something before 2022 ends, and then the anniversary has some more Dragon Ball superhero stuff, maybe. But again, uh, I don't really think so. So, honestly, some form of Kid Buu, maybe Ultimate Gohan, some form of Dragon Ball Z Broly, and I don't know who the other unit would be. Uh, some variation of Sword of Hope Trunks and Corrupt and Merge of Masu are going to be my top picks for sure. But again, let me know what you want to see. Are we going to take it literally in, in the sense of, Okay, only those specific forms of Goku and Vegeta that we've seen for the anniversary so far, which means that we could see some other variations and transformations of Goku. Or do you think they really mean no Goku, because Goku has gotten a headline before, no Vegeta because of the same reason, no Dragon Ball Super Broly, no Rose, no Janemba, none of that stuff whatsoever. Let me know what you guys think. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Unfortunately, unfortunately, I couldn't necessarily, you know, not make any mistakes, but you know what? I'm going to work on it. 
and one day I will catch you lacking for that. Or I guess you can consider subscribing regardless because, you know, we are on the road to, uh, you know, we're on the road to 50K. And uh, so if you want to join the under 50K club, you know what you got to do. I'll see you in the next one. Take care and peace.